Hello, everybody. Welcome back to House of Games. We have got some quizzes on our hands this week. I'll tell you that for nothing. Whoever wins this trophy at the end of the week is going to have earned it. Shall we meet our players? They are Martel Maxwell, <laughs> Matthew Horn, Chloe Petz, and Alex Beresford. Chloe. What a win yesterday. I mean, that was hard fought, wasn't it? One point in the end. Yeah, I, I, I think it's what I, what I said at the beginning of yesterday's episode. Everyone is so strong. Yeah. Um, they, <laughs> it, every, every three are so strong. <laughs> but you're not going to have it all your own way this week, I suspect. Absolutely. Uh, Matt, one point off the lead last time. Mm. She's good, but you're good too. You got a win in you this week? Um, yeah, I think so. I think if I get some more bread rounds, then... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you were very good on bread. And very Martel, good. as I say, we've had... Every... Homes Under the Hammer have never won a show. You came the closest we've ever seen. You're going to win a prize this week, aren't you? I hope so. I really hope so. Um, should we take a look at the, uh, the leaderboard? Because you were two points off the lead uh, and you came third. It's very uh, unlucky. There's Alex, Martel, Matthew and Chloe up the top there. Alex. So yes. prizes, shall we take a look at today's prizes? Let's, I mean, let's dream. If you, if you let's, <laughs> let's dream big, shall we? <laughs> Here's what you can win today. The shower curtain, the salt and pepper shakers, the decanter, the playing cards and the compost bin. What do you fancy there? Decanter, I would go Decanter, for. yeah. Uh, Chloe? My girlfriend lost her playing cards, so I think I'd, I'd take those home for her. Wow, because they're hard to buy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are tough to buy. That's awful. I hate losing my playing cards. But, it's like, now I've got to save up again. Hey, but these are, these are money can't buy ones. Oh, so. yeah, these are money can't buy there playing cards, for sure. Uh, Matt? There's only one item there that isn't restricted to one use. I think that's the compost bin. I mean, it's a receptacle for anything, really. It's, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's so exactly I'm going to go right. for the compost bin. It is a receptacle of dreams. <laughs> right, right, you keep whatever you want in that. Uh, Martel, what would you like to win to show off to Dion and Martin? Oh, there's nothing I really can take to Lynx. I could take the playing cards to Lynx or the decanter. Yeah, and just sort of show it, just go, oh, what, this? Yeah. Oh, I, just, I won this on House Games. Where are your prizes again, guys? I mean, I think I have to do it. I've yeah. got to, just to show them. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, listen, great bit of quizzing yesterday. I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. Should we play our first round? Mm. OK, it is. <laughs> Correction Centre. I'm going to go along the line. I'm going to read each of you a statement. That statement is incorrect. But if you change one word, it will become correct. OK, Martel, we'll start with you. Here's your statement. You need to change a word to make it correct. At university graduations, people traditionally celebrate by throwing ironing boards in the air. Um, change ironing to mortar. So mortar boards. That's the right answer. Lovely start to the show. Well played, Martel. <laughs> throwing mortar boards in the air. Those are those hats, right? Hats. Um, Matt. OK, which word do you need to fix here? A 2005 LA Times article asked whether children were ready for the more grown-up tone of Harry Potter and the half-cut prince. Change cut for blood. Oh, that's quite good. Change cut for blood. Ooh. That's like the name of a novel. <laughs> change cut for blood by Matthew Horne. <laughs> uh, change cut for blood. Yeah, half-cut and half-blood prince. Well played, Matt. Chloe, one for you, we're two from two. In October 2021, William Hague blasted off in the Blue Origin capsule and became the oldest person to go into space. I actually have no idea. Ah. Have you got it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, do they oh, get to buzz oh, in? Ju judging by that nod, he's got it. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's very strong. They do nod. get to buzz in if you don't get it, yeah. Do you know what? I'm just going to guess and say it's not Blue Origin, it's like Red Origin or something. <laughs> OK. And William Hague is the oldest man to have gone into space. Oh, I can... Is it, uh, uh, is it Red Origin? Oh, wait, 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 can I... Oh, oh no, I guess no, I'm let's not allowed that. to. Is uh, change Blue Origin to Red Origin? It is incorrect. Anyone fancy that? Matt. Change Hague for Shatner. Change Hague yeah. for Shatner. Very is good, absolutely yeah. Absolutely right. Well done. Ah, yeah. Shatner became the oldest person to go into space. Just to clear up, I didn't think it was actually William Hague that had. No, I know. I thought it I might know, be another yeah. man called William Hague. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could have been. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Alex, 
Uh, one for you now, an incorrect statement. Can you change one word, please? Strictly speaking, the official name of London's famous Bill Bailey <laughs> is the Central Criminal Court. Oh, you don't... You don't oh, I didn't even into oh, no, But listen, <laughs> I, I love the enthusiasm. Uh, can we change Bill for old? Change Bill for old? <laughs> Absolutely right. Old Bailey, well played. Alex, we go back to Martel. Another incorrect statement for you. With its characteristic nutty flavour, lamb's wool is a healthy salad ingredient. Lamb's wool? Lambs, it's not lamb something. So is it something wool? <laughs> What's, um, am I being silly? No, I don't no, think no, so. No. With its characteristic... Judging, judging by the lack of people leaning forward onto their buzzer. Oh, it's, oh, oh no. you can buzz in. <laughs> I think it's lamb shatner. <laughs> With its characteristic it... nutty flavour, oh. that bit's right. Lamb's wool is not correct. <laughs> or is it? Lamb's wool is a healthy salad ingredient. So you... Lamb's wool? Mm. Walnut wool? Something nutty. Oh, come on. Nutty flavour. So what's... So you've got an oil. Lamb's... Some sort of oil. Shall we time you out? Yeah. And looks, so we've, got, we've got a buzzer race on our hands when we do time you oh, out. Oh, no! As soon as that goes ready, we've got... Oh, Matt beats Alex to the buzzer again. Change wool for lettuce. Lettuce. Lamb's lettuce. OK. It's got a characteristic nutty flavour, apparently, lamb's lettuce. There you go. Uh, well played, Matt. Nicely done. And it's your question. The Smithsonian Institute's collection includes a photograph of jazz legend Charlie Mingus holding his beloved double Gloucester. Hmm, a lot to unpack there. <laughs> there is. Um, Smithsonian Institute's Charles Mingus holding his beloved double. Change Gloucester for bass. Change Gloucester for bass. It's the right answer. Well done. Double bass. Chloe, mm -hmm. I'm afraid I have an incorrect statement for you. I wonder if I could trouble you to make it correct. I'll do my best. Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing gave memorable performances in numerous Rocky Horror productions. Change productions to picture show? Is that the right answer? Mm. It's not, I'm afraid. Anyone want to buzz in? Matt, again, what around are you having? Um, change Rocky for Hammer. Hammer Horror. Oh, Rocker. very good, very good. Absolutely right. Hammer Horror. Well played, Matt. Alex, final question of this round. Here's your statement. It's hard to think of a cooler throwback jam than Uptown Girl. Mark Ronson's 2014 smash hit was crowned Billboard's Song of the Decade. Oh, gosh. Hold on, Matt. Give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Oh, we, got it. we really do have a race here. You do know it. I do know it, I just can't think of it. You got this one at home. You got this. It's hard to think of a cooler throwback jam than Uptown Funk. Uh, can you change girl to funk? He's got it. There we go. <laughs> Look at the disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Alex, Uptown <laughs> Funk, <laughs> nice play. And that is the end of that round. What a round for Matt Horn that was. Lovely, let's take a look at our first leaderboard. Yesterday's champion, Chloe, yet to get off the mark today. Martel, you have one. Alex, you've got two. Five points for Matt Horn. Very well played, Matt. Well done. Nicely done. Should we play a pairs game? Be nice, wouldn't it? Our pairs game today is... My perfect match. The pair in fourth chooses their partner, Chloe. Yesterday's champion today, that is you. Who would you like to play this round with? Uh, I'm going to go for a bit of girl power and, and go with Martel. Go with Martel. OK, so Chloe and Matt, if you could swap places, please. Sure thing. Chloe and Martel are a team. Matt and Alex are a team. Now, in this round, I need you to help find me my perfect match. And it has to be someone who has two completely separate characteristics, OK? What I'm looking for, uh, Martel and Chloe, is somebody who fits these criteria. What I'm looking for, really, is somebody who was a postman. That's what I look for in, uh, in, a, in a perfect match. <laughs> but who also was taught magic by David Copperfield. Uh, is my perfect match Steve Carell or Sean Ryder? Who is my perfect match? What do the two of you think? What nationality is David Copperfield? English. Steve is not, right? 
Well, just thinking Sean's English, if he was getting taught magic, I'd say but Sean would be into. Has one, have there, has one of them played a postman or...? Well, it says was a postman. I mean... But it could, could have been a postman. Sean definitely could have been a postman. What's your instinct? My instinct, Sean Ryder. My instinct is Steve Carell, which puts us in a really <laughs> difficult position, doesn't it? If we go for Sean... And we get it wrong, then I'm, I'm walking. Then blame me. <laughs> uh, should we go Sean Ryder, yeah? I'm right. not sure why or... Yeah. Or what Can reason? we go Sean Ryder? Yeah. OK, is Sean Ryder my perfect match? Well, they were both postmen. Was Sean Ryder taught magic? He was not. It was Steve Carell. Poor shame. Uh, I think the cool. error there was thinking that David Copperfield was English. Oh, OK. There he's American. American. There was an English comedian, David Copperfield, but the, uh, the magician, David Copperfield. American Steve Carell was taught by him for a, a movie role. And Sean Ryder was sacked from being a postman for biting a dog. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Alex. Steve Carell is my perfect match, but, uh, you know, maybe there's someone else out there for me. OK, I'm looking for somebody who has appeared in Absolutely Fabulous. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for in a partner but who also has Davina as a middle name. That is my niche, the <laughs> thing that I like. So one of these two are my perfect match. Is it Tanny Gray Thompson or Helena Bonham Carter? What are you thinking? I'm thinking, thinking Helena Bonham Carter, I would say. That's what I, I that, think that was my, that was my initial thought. It's quite hard to look at people and work out if they've got Davina as a middle name. I know. <laughs> I feel like Helena Bonham Carter's yeah, got every name as a middle name, so <laughs> Davina must be in there somewhere, yeah. I think. Statistically, you've yeah, got statistically, more, yeah. I think we, Helena Bonham Davina. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, let's go with Helena, I think. We'll go Helena Bonham Carter. Yeah. What do you think at home? Agree? Disagree? Um, let's find out, shall we? Is Helena Bonham Carter my perfect match? She's not. It is Tani Gray Thompson. They were both in Ab Fab, but Tani's middle name is Davina. Karis Davina. Is her real name. We move back to Martel and Chloe. Tanny oh. Gray Thompson, for various... She's left me. That's what happened there. I was going to say we split up, but she left. I'm so sorry. Uh, so uh, I need a new perfect match, and they need to fulfil these two criteria. They need to have featured in People magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. I don't think that's crazy of me. <laughs> that's a perfectly good uh, <laughs> criteria, but also... They need to have read a CBB's bedtime story in 2014. That's what I like. I like that sensitive side as well. Is my perfect match Jude Law or Brian Cox? Featured in People magazine. It's, yeah. It doesn't have to be the sexiest man alive. It'll be a lot of it's people. It's just one of them. I think they both have at some point. It's, I think it's more that we're looking at who's read a CBB's bedtime story in 2014. Both okay. of them have quite soft, silky voices, mm. but I would say that Brian Cox's is more distinctive. Mm-hmm. And he's quite global. Should we go Brian Cox? Yeah. yeah. We're going Brian yeah, Cox? Yeah, go on, let's do it. Yeah, what do you think at home? Brian Cox? Is that the answer? Let's find out. Is Brian Cox my perfect match? Absolutely right. Well done. They've both been voted one of the sexiest men alive by People <laughs> magazine. But uh, only he did a bedtime story for CBeebies. Well played. Point to you. Um, gentlemen, last question in this round. Matt and Alex, I am on the search again, and I'm looking for somebody who has sued Nintendo for using their likeness as a Pokemon. <laughs> That's what I like. Oh, OK. But who also supports Exeter City Football Club. I mean, listen, it's niche, but uh, it's what I go for. Um, who fits both of those, please? Is it Yuri Geller or Noel Edmonds? I don't know why, but I'm sure that Yuri Geller is an Exeter City football fan. I agree. So, I would go with Yuri. Yeah. You're going Yuri? Yeah, I agree. Yuri Geller? Yuri Geller, yeah. disagree? Let's find out, shall we? Well, they're both Exeter City fans, but only one of them sued Nintendo, and that is... Yuri Geller. Very well done. Nicely played. There's a Pokemon who bends spoons, and uh, Yuri Geller sued them, said it's based on him. Um, it's the end of that round. Well played, everyone. Matt and Chloe, if you will swap back, please. Thank you for not picking Noel Edmonds as my perfect match. <laughs> appreciated. Let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we? 
two rounds down on Tuesday's House of Games. Chloe off the mark now with one. Martel, you got two. Alex has got three. He's in second place. In first place, though, Matt Horn, six points. Well done. It's a good. nice little lead. It's quite a scary little lead, Bambo, isn't it? Three rounds to go. Yeah, like the equivalent of the 2 0 lead in football. Yeah, it really dangerous is, isn't it? one, yeah. Three, three point is a dangerous lead in House of Games. <laughs> uh, our next round is. <laughs> when, when they're singing. Now, in this round, I'm going to play you all the first couple of bars of a famous song, the introduction to a famous song. I will then fade it out. You've got to keep playing along with the song in your head and press your buzzer when you think the first word is sung in the song, OK? And whoever is closest will get themselves a point. Play along at home. You know how this one works. Get your stopwatches out. So fingers on buzzers, everybody. And everyone at home, start your stopwatches now. Everyone went very early there. I'll give you a few more seconds at home. That's just the two of us, Grover Washington Jr. and Bill Withers. Everyone panicked and then Chloe waited a little bit longer. Let's take a look at your times. Martel went first and Chloe last there. What do you think at home? What have you got on your stopwatch for this one? Shall we take a little listen, see who's closest, see who's won the points? Hoping the singing comes in roundabout. Oh, well oh, done, Chloe, for holding out. Blimey. I see the Christmas. Wow. 43, Chloe, you get yourself a point there. Sometimes it's worth hanging on in this round. Should we do another one? Fingers mm -hmm. on buzzers, everybody. Everyone at home, start your stopwatch now. Time. That's where I would have gone, but again, <laughs> the amount of times we do this and the, and it loops round again. You say, I didn't know that looped round oh. again. It feels like that's where that's where it comes in, right? But you really got me by the kinks. Let's take a look at your timings. They're going to be very close to each other. Yeah, look at that. All within about half a second. That's where it comes in, isn't it? The singing. Sort sure. of straight away. Think so. I think so. I've been surprised so many times. Um, let's take a listen, shall we? See who's won the points. <laughs> Martel. Amazing. And it did well come done. straight away. Well done at home if you got bang on 7.22. Final question in this round. Fingers on buzzers one last time. And start your stopwatch one last time. Now. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, let's take a look at your timing, shall we? So it's Rio by Duran Duran. And here's how it's looking, all the way from 17 to 23. It feels like it takes a long time. Let's find out, shall we? When does the first word come in? Who's won the point? <laughs> could not be more of an 80s intro, could it? Go. Here's the business okay. end. Ah. Chloe just wins it. Well done, Chloe. Nicely done. Very well done if you got close to that one at home. Uh, it's the end of that round. Let's take a look at what is done to our scoreboard. Two rounds to go. Well, that's jolly. Look oh. at that. Martel, Chloe, and Alex all in second place now with three points. Matt Horn. That three-point lead is still there. Six points for Matt. Well done. Two rounds to go. Two rounds to hang on. <laughs> Round four today is going to be... I am 
not a robot. This is based on those things you get online where you have to prove you're a human being by clicking on squares. Martel, we will start with you. If you could take your tablet out, please. I'm going to show you some squares. I wonder if you could select all squares that contain a rhombus. If you will, <laughs> a rhombus. I mean, we did rhombuses at school for sure. So someone has told me at some point uh, what makes something a rhombus. What do you think at home here? Do you know? Uh, do you know what the rhombus is? Rhombus I, rhombi. Ah, let's take a look at what Martel has gone for. See if she's a robot or not. Just gone for that one. Mm. Let's see, Martel. Is that the correct answer? It is not. It's those two. It's got four sides of equal length, I essentially. Just that was a diamond and then a diamond slightly you, skewed. You went, yeah, well, that's, that's a rhombus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you went for the trapezium there. Um, so you do not get a point. Matt, if you take your tablet out, please. See if we can get you a point here. If you click on any square that contains the three-point line, please. On that basketball court. Your basketball fan, Matt? I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> so, is Matt Horn a robot or not? Let's take a look at what he's gone for. Yeah, so you're thinking the big looped line there, the big semicircle. Is that right? It is exactly right. Very well done. It's the line well there. Good. Well done. Inside the line, you get two points. Outside that line, you get three points. Very well played. Matt, Chloe, now. Let's do it. Here are your pictures. Here are your squares. And I wonder if you could click on any square which contains an animal <laughs> with a four-chambered <laughs> stomach. Fantastic. Wow. You knew my specialist that, subject. I mean, OK. What do you think uh, about this one at home? That was quick. Yeah, I've gone with impulse there. Yeah, you've just gone with impulse. It's gone yeah. Four-chambered stomach impulse, so you locked in. <laughs> Let's take a look at what Chloe has gone for. The goat and the sheep you have gone for. What do you think at home on this one? Let's take a look. Has Chloe scored herself a point? Ah. Uh. Ah. Oh, just missed the bull, like a bad dart player. Uh, so, yeah, the goat and the sheep have four chambered stomachs, uh, but as does the bull. So that's very, very unlucky. Very well done if you've got uh, that at home. Alex. Alex, some squares for you. Please click on any square which contains someone whose surname is Jenna. Hmm. Some people's literally perfect category, this. I'd find, I'm not... I, I don't watch... Uh, uh, so no, I sort of feel like I wish I knew. I know it's bad that I wish I knew it, but... Uh, Alex, uh, you're confident? I'm in, yeah. you lose confidence. You happier with that than, than with a four-chambered stomach question? I'm, I'm very happy. I, I don't watch this show, but when your girlfriend does, you know the answer. Yeah, you tend to get them. OK, let's take a look at what Alex has gone for. There we go. He's got three of them there. Agree? Disagree at home? Let's find out, shall we? Has Alex scored a point? He yeah. certainly has. Very well done. Kylie, Caitlin and Kendall. Very well played, Alex. <laughs> uh, that's the end of that round. We learned a lot, didn't we, in that round? Goodness me. One more round to go till we find Tuesday's champion. On Monday, Chloe was our champion. Is she going to do it again? Is someone else going to win a prize? Our leaderboard looks like this. Chloe and Martel have three points each. Alex has four points in second place. Matt Horn, that three-point lead, mm. staying where it is. Matt Horn leads with one round to go. That round, of course, is... Answer smash. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. You can definitely lose a three-point lead in this round, but it's a nice lead to have, <laughs> I would say. Fingers on buzzers, everybody, and very, very best of luck. Here we go. Your first category is... Modes of transport. Those will be the pictures. What term for an intensive and rigorous course of physical training was also the name of an audition stage on The X Factor? Yes, Chloe. Boot camper van. Boot camper van. Well played. Boot camp camper van. Boot camper van. 
Next one. Which character from the James Bond films has been played by Lois Maxwell, Samantha Bond and Naomi Harris? Yes, Matt. Miss Money Penny Farthing. Miss Money Penny Farthing? Very well done, Matt. Nicely done. The temptation we've got a three-point lead is just never buzz in, isn't it? But uh, well played. Next clue, next picture. The Golden Gate Bridge links Marin County with which city in California? Matt. San Francisco. San Francisco? <gasps> oh! It's the right answer. Oh, oh what an answer! San Francisco. Beautiful. Next category. Pop group members. We're looking for the name of the singer you're about to see. And there'll be a clue above. Which large breed is known as the Apollo of dogs? Yes, Martel. Great Dane Bowers. Great Dane Bowers? Correct. Is that Dane Very Bowers? Dane Bowers. Dane Bowers. Bowers. He looks all right, doesn't he? Yeah. He's aging well. Great Dane, Dane Bowers. Great Dane Bowers. Next one. Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah co starred in which 1984 film about a woman who is secretly a mermaid? No one. Anyone? So I tell you. I don't know who she is. Splashly Roberts is the answer. <laughs> Splash and Ashley Roberts. Splashly Roberts. And next clue, next picture. Which actor won an Oscar for her role as Scarlett O'Hara in the 1939 film Gone with the Wind? So I tell you. Yeah. Vivian Leanne Pinnock. Oh. Vivian Lee and Pinnock uh, from Little Mix. Leanne Pinnock, Vivian Lee. Um, is that us done? Do we have another category? <laughs> we often end there. That's where we've ended today. Listen, he had that three point lead, kept it throughout the show, defended it beautifully in the final round as well. Our champion on Tuesday's House of Games is Matthew Horn. Well played, Matthew. Nine points. Smashed it, mate. Well We're done. Front, mate. Everyone else was second. That's nice. <laughs> uh, Matt, you won yourself a prize. Which of these would you like? Um, I'm going to go for the... As I said at the beginning of the show, I'm going to go for the compost. Bit. Lovely. What a beautiful prize. It will what house the trophy very nicely. Oh! oh, oh writing oh, talk. Okay. That okay. is writing talk. Here we go. <laughs> well, Matt, congratulations. You're our second Thank champion you. of the week. Take home the House of Games compost bin. Let's take a look at our weekly leaderboard. That's lovely and close, isn't it? Alex has four, Martel has five, Matthew and Chloe. Seven points each. What a close week it is going to be. Um, let's regroup, shall we, and play Wednesday's House of Games. Lovely. Yeah. See you there. See you there as well on the House of Games. To bits. Good quality as well. You don't you don't skimp on that. Oh yeah, and there's no mucking about. If we well, you give you a compost bin, we give you a compost bin. It's really quite robust. <laughs> <laughs>